Well, America is at a pivotal moment of opportunity to confront racial equity issues and help advance racial healing. Tomorrow, the W.K. Kellogg Foundation will host its seventh annual National Day of Racial Healing, an annual observance established by the Kellogg Foundation. The National Day of Racial Healing is an opportunity for all Americans to consider having an important but sometimes uncomfortable racial healing conversation, face up to the truths discovered from the conversation, and start to heal together from racism. This morning, we're joined by Foundation President and CEO Lejeune Montgomery Tabron. And welcome to you, and thank you so much for joining us this morning. Well, thank you so much. I'm delighted to be here today. So, talk to me about this annual National Day of Racial Healing. It is happening tomorrow. What do folks need to know? Yes, first of all, I just want to say the National Day of Racial Healing is a day that is intended to support the actions of everyday people, everyone. After being inspired by Dr. King's words and his legacy on MLK Day, the Kellogg Foundation wanted support people who wanted to go out and actually act and engage to achieve the racial equity that Dr. King dreamt about. So the National Day of Racial Healing is about that action. It is about connecting with other people across differences, building trusting relationships and bridging divides so that together we can make the change necessary in our own communities so that our children and families can thrive. At the Kellogg Foundation, we believe that racial healing is essential to achieve racial equity. And the healing journey is one that is about affirming one another's humanity, engaging in dialogue that is not about blaming or shaming, but it is actually about affirming our values and telling our stories and telling our truths so that we can learn from the past and create better future for children. And I think that equity component is so important because to say everyone's created equal, equality is not the same as equity, and you all are working towards equity. That is absolutely correct. And at the end of the day, we believe that, you know, it's the people who create the equitable systems and practices in communities so that all children can thrive. And this work is about each of us engaging learning from one another, listening to the harms and understanding how racism has harmed all of us, but that we each can take a part in creating better opportunities for children and families in the future. It's an action. We believe that racial healing is a practice. It is a way of dialogue that we learn that can allow us to be better citizens and connect in our communities and, and solve the issues that people face that prevent them from thriving. And I know this is a national thing, but here in New Orleans, how can we participate? I know you all have a hashtag on your website. Is that right? We do, and uh, we're so excited. Our national town halls will be hosted right here in New Orleans. Uh, we are having a Telemundo event on Telemundo.com at 7 p.m. Eastern time. There will also be a town hall on MSNBC at 10 p.m. Eastern time. We encourage everyone to tune in. Uh, you can also go to dayofracialhealing.org. There you will find all of the local events that are happening throughout the nation. There are over 160 events some right here. We are inviting everyone to both join those local events as well as tune in to MSNBC and Telemundo.com. You'll see experts doing this work from across the nation. You'll see people who are doing this work right here in New Orleans and the great work that's happening in many of our communities. So join us. We'll be right here in Studio B. Well, that's awesome. Lots of ways to participate. We thank you so much for taking the time to be with us on this Martin Luther King Jr. Day and tomorrow, National Day of Racial Healing. Thank you so much.